Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday, February 8th, 2024. Stocks are pretty flat for the most part, at least S&P is. Uh, NASDAQ down 14. S or, I'm sorry, the Dow up 51. We'll have to see if SPX hits 5,000 today. Yes. S&P Futures did yesterday. Morning, Benji, Al Piero, Fast, San Ray. <laughs> Disney up 8%. Get had earnings, yeah, yesterday. PayPal down over 8%. Yesterday's earnings. Got some good volume runners yesterday. <clears throat> we'll build on that. Right, blockchain up over 4%. Coinbase up over It's going to ring here in about 30 seconds. Uh, let's see San Ram try to read this here. I'm thinking some more, a few words from you describing your task workflow. Useful that a picture. Don't place the exit. Ah, uh, San Ray, I do it just like it, it's taught in the course. So, I mean, Steve shows how to do that in a course. I mean, it's just buying the calls and puts and then setting a working order for 10%. There's no stops being used or anything. I'm not sure what you mean by workflow would be more useful than a picture. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like I, I, I use this Orion because it gives me access to, you know, 32 stocks at the click of a button. Um, and then my other screen, yeah, if I like see a volume runner in NVIDIA, I, I go over to my other big screen and I type it in NVIDIA. I already have the trade tab selected and I already have the option chain selected. So like today would be the one DTE. And so all I got to do is buy an, you know, at the money put or call. That's it. I'm not sure. Again, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean by. A few words from you describing your toss workflow would be more useful than a picture. Not 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 really sure what that means. VIX up one and a third percent today. Just how do you everything so quickly? Well, I mean, it's just buying puts and calls. So it's just a couple of clicks of the mouse. But yeah, I mean, 
I've been doing this now for since 2019. So going on five years, I mean, just buy, you know, it's just clicking, it's just clicking the ask price, adjusting contracts, adjusting price, confirm and send. And, and and typically, like, there's probably a few seconds, like, I've done it already by the time I've said it. <laughs> Getting some <clears throat> stocks pushing down here. NASDAQ went into the red. S&P is red. Like the S and P opened up, but uh, about forty nine forty five. I'm sorry, forty nine ninety five. I think is it stuck on NVIDIA? That's weird. I'll be, uh, Going through my uh, presentation at 3.30 Central Time today for zero DTE trading. <clears throat> so hopefully that will clear up any confusion people have had over the last few weeks. In our second bars here, NVIDIA. Continuing to push up. You're looking for some big volume bars here. Roblox uh, had earnings a couple days ago and kind of getting everything almost back up to actually. And a nice uh, big move up and then kind of drifted down yesterday, heading back up. Microsoft pushing up. NASDAQ has went green. Rookie Trader, <clears throat> SPX, getting close to 5,000. 
expected move today is a little over 19 points. Halfway through this bar, NVIDIA is getting close. Tesla coming down a bit here. Roblox uh, getting close, but it, price hasn't really moved much. So definitely like to see a little bit of a push. Got about a minute left. Roblox looks like it might be the uh, one to watch here. Check Roblox and toss. Yeah, definitely got there. So look for a little pullback in Roblox. No pullback, man. I just took off. Yeah, AMD. Let's take a look at AMD real quick. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty close, although it's coming down here now past where I would want it. That would be a, a time to exit if it pushed down below that point right there. So it may just push down below it and pop right back up, too. I've seen that happen with volume runners. They, they just barely push down past that point, and then they pop right back up. I'm going to jump in some AMD here, I think. Let me see. No, maybe not. No, I'll, I'll wait. It's come down too far for my liking. You know, sometimes it'll, it'll for a volume run, it'll push just down below there, but then we'll pop right back up. And it still might, but. Video falling apart. Yeah, Roblox. See, see, it 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 did what I was just talking about. See how it went beyond that point, and then it 
popped right back up. AMD definitely not doing that, though. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely popped right back up. Square coming down. Microsoft staying strong there. Baba potentially getting a volume bar to the downside. Job Sanray. Yeah, if it's under a dollar, I don't even take it anyway. But that doesn't, again, just like Sanray, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can definitely take it. Yeah, Baba getting a downside volume runner. Yeah, Roblox right there would be a good time to enter right about there. Let me take a look at Roblox. Yeah, the one DTE is just so cheap. Now, see, now it's coming down too far from my liking. NVIDIA, yeah. maybe you're getting a downside volume runner, but I don't know that I would want to do that with NVIDIA, strong as it's been. Let me check toss. Yeah, it's not. Didn't quite get there in toss. <laughs> Microsoft. Staying strong. Not seeing any mighty 90s yet. Baba popping up a little bit. Let me check Baba here. Yeah. Only thing is, though, is it's opposite bars there. It doesn't necessarily matter after the second one. Yeah, Square, that's pretty close to a downside volume runner, though. Let me look at Toss. Yeah, it didn't quite get there. So, yeah, I would probably say that's a mighty 90. I just – I don't I, I don't especially like the mighty 90s when they're close to as big as the first. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get short Baba here on a downside volume runner. Man, Baba is under a dollar now, too? Gosh. Don't forget that. If you want a smaller stock, uh, now would be a good time to get in Baba or downside volume runner. Amazon pushing highs of day. Dow futures coming down. Other than that, just kind of some stair-stepping down in volume. You know, Meta, Tesla, doesn't really give us much. I guess Coinbase had an upside volume runner. 
But see, it did the same thing. It pushed down past the exit. So just being patient. Had some a lot of action yesterday. It's the most action I've had on these in a long time. <laughs> NVIDIA crossed over 700 yesterday. See if it can get back up over 700 today. <clears throat> Just not a lot of movement quite yet this morning still no real push in any direction with the s p here in the first 15 minutes 20 minutes tesla growing see if that volume bar gets there to the upside Sure that it will, but take a look at it. And think or swim. Got 30 seconds left. Does not look like it's going to get there. It's close. Square, you know, I, I kind of like that Mighty 90 when I look at it and think or swim. See what it does. If it pushes down here like one more time, I might jump in long. It just looks a lot. I mean, it's definitely not a big volume bar, but it kind of looks like it's going to leave us. See, it's hard. To, in Orion, it looks almost as big, but when I look at, as I look at it and think or swim, it just it's definitely not as big as the first, but it's already popping up. So. It wasn't quick enough. So just some flat volume and some stair stepping down, not conducive to any of our mighty 90 year runners. Yeah, there's no, no price push, tight range, barely bigger. So Airbnb has had very wide options over the past year. I haven't traded it much. Yeah, but there's also, look. I mean, look at the price range. Very small. Yeah, it does look a lot better in Toss for sure. <clears throat> But with those with those two bars, we're talking about a one point range in a on a hundred and fifty dollar stock. And the bid ask is forty point forty cents wide. So stay away from that. Uh, nope, no Mighty 90 in NVIDIA. That's, we want 
this bar to be bigger than this one. Yeah, square, darn it. <laughs> Wish I would have jumped in that down here.
How about now? Okay. Yeah, sometimes my thanks for let me know. Sometimes my Bluetooth like disconnects. Yeah, Netflix getting a mighty 90 here. I want to make sure. Yeah, I don't think it's going to get more bigger. Um, I don't. Doesn't look like it's going to get bigger than the first. So I would do the five fifty-five calls. See if I can get filled at five bucks. Change that to 505. Yeah, come on. Oh, 505 in Netflix. Oh, man. So that volume bar really kind of it's getting big now. Like to see it stop growing. Ugh. Just how we got fifteen seconds. It's kind of shaping up to be a downside volume runner. It's not quite there in toss. So I'm gonna just roll with it. And I'm going to set my order to get out of half. Oh, wow, what is going on with Netflix? Oops, what happened there? Something. Get out of half my Netflix at... 550. I'm not quite sure what happened to Netflix there. Actually, 555. The bid ask is really bouncing around. NASDAQ popping up. And that square mighty 90 would have been really nice. Actually, you know what, man? Netflix, it does look like a downside volume runner now in toss. Ugh. I'm going to go ahead and just get out of that. Build at four ninety to close Netflix. So small loss. Um, I did look at uh, like when you if, when you look at toss, it's big. It's as big as the first, easily. So that can happen with mighty nineties, and that's why I don't get into ones you know like like Square when it was. Real close to as big as the first, I and mean, I typically don't get into those because you know you can you can get into it and there may be a minute left and then all of a sudden oops, you know you're you're long and then it, it turns into a downside volume runner and it's like uh oh interestingly enough though Nasdaq is pushing highs of day and s p is coming up to almost highs of day as well, so I don't know. I don't know what 
Netflix was bouncing around a little bit. The bid ask ended up being like 50 cents wide for a bit. So something's going on. It's best just to not risk it. $90 loss for me. Uh, you're missing on the short iron condor front. What do you what do you mean, Dark Avenger? I mean, I pretty much. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, I usually don't put them on until after nine o'clock anyway, nine o'clock central. So it's just now nine a.m. central. So. I mean, I pretty much stick to my plan. Like, if you just if you just throw them on at the start of the bell, and you get you know a push like we had yesterday or the day before, especially the that big down push, then your your first one's a, a big loser. There'll be plenty of theta decay, plenty of time to do it. Iron condors today. Not too worried about it. So just just flat line pretty much from a lot of these. Wow, Boeing, big volume bar to the downside. Square pushing highs of day. Let me check out Boeing over here. Yeah, Boeing is something going on with it, too. Uh, I've not done one DTE, Dark Avenger. But, yeah, sometimes you can just get chop out of the gates. And so, you know, that's why I was talking yesterday. Like, I don't necessarily have to see two pushes because, some, you know, before 930 Central, because you may not get them. It may just chop out of the gates kind of like it's doing right now. So what I'm interested in seeing is in the next 20 minutes or so, is it going to push through highs like 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 Nasdaq's doing, or or or, or is it just going to continue to chop? Roku through highs of day, Boeing still falling. No no um no bounce out of that. So kind of a weird morning here, not getting any signals, but you've got some interesting price movement. Netflix bouncing. So it's kind of given a little bit of a bounce for a downside volume runner here, but I guess futures aren't necessarily pushing anymore. I've been slow on the trigger today. It's like, let me, let me check that, those bid asks again. See if they've calmed down. Yeah, definitely. I would do the 557.5 puts. See if I can get filled at four bucks. Tesla pushing highs of day and Roku going through highs of day. Actually, the call side is a lot wider than the put side. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to cancel my Netflix. It's 25 cents wide now. Something going on with Netflix.
I think Microsoft had a little Mighty 90 long there. Let me check it out, Toss. Still pushing down. All right, Microsoft. I'm going to get long Microsoft here. Um, 410 calls. Build at 415. So my... So I would get out of half at four fifty five. See, zero D2 question. If you have a center icon or your 20% profit, do you close half at 20%? Uh, yeah, I always I always just let it hit 20%. Man, Apple coming down. Uh, so is not sure if SPX wants to hit Push through 5,000 or not? Okay, so getting one green bar here out of Microsoft. Need to look for one more. Oops. It's not good. Roku on a mission today, it looks like. Hasn't really given us any good signals. Boeing, two big red bars. I'm not sure what's going on with Boeing. Square, potential mighty 90 short. It's already pulled back a little bit. Uh, Yeah, actually. That would be a mighty 90 short in Roku. Correct. Let's see if it pushes up one. I mean, it's already pulled back, so it would be a good enter. But, yeah, this is a mighty 90 for sure. I wonder what's going on. It's really pushing. It's one of the stronger stocks today. But if it pushes up a little bit more, I might get short. Apple falling apart. Oh. I just want to see if Roku pushes one more time. Morning continuation runner. Mm, 
yeah, let me look at let me look at add it and toss a little better idea. Yeah, probably could be. It's already popped up though. So Roku's Zoom big bars. Um, Roku's kind of taken off here. So that's kind of what I was afraid of. Um So Roku, I would trade the 97 puts. Go to $1.66. So I would get out a half at... Dollar eighty. So hopefully we can get two bars out of that, and it doesn't just rip our face off because it is it is one of the stronger stocks. That's my only concern with that mighty ninety. Still no two bars in Microsoft. Yeah, Roku, I'm a little worried about it. Might be a rip your face off. Let's just get two nice bars like NVIDIA did yesterday. And then it can go up all at once. Video had those two nice red bars, and then it, and then it ripped. Yeah, still a lot of chop here. Oh, filled on half my Microsoft at uh, 455. So I'd get out of another Microsoft at five bucks. Let's just go 495. Nice job, P L, L Piero. Yeah, Apple, probably a little bit, but I'm going to technically, yes, I'm going to skip it. <clears throat> and I'm going to look to transition to zero DTE now. You know, it's uh, been 45 minutes. We haven't had much happening, so... I'm going to look at a zero DTE trade. Build it four ninety five to close another Microsoft. Beautiful mighty ninety there.
We get out of another one at um, 545. All right, let's take a look at zero DTE here. Uh, yeah, not a ton of premium, is there? Hmm. Yeah, Roku might be a problem. All right, Roku, let me see where we're at. I might add to it. See where I'm at. So I got in Roku at a buck sixty six. Dang, it's all, all the way down to. So I'm going to add to my Roku here. Build it a buck twenty nine to add to Roku. Got one green bar in Microsoft. So I would close half my Roku at a buck sixty. All right, so. Zero DTE land. Let me take a look here. Premium, not the greatest. See what this looks like. Okay, so I did I did the uh did my first zero DTE and I did the 50, 10 calls, 49, 80 puts, and I did uh, 50 points wide. Oh man, Roku's a thorn in my side. I I was hesitant to do Roku because of the how strong it was. Just need to get a little pullback here.
if you're trying to come down. Microsoft still hasn't given me two consecutive green bars. S and P coming down now. So Roku trying to give us a one red bar. So just when I got in my SPX, it had this little push down. Didn't like that. A Netflix downside runner. Let me take a look. Yeah, I mean, if it um, pushed up here close to that pivot, you know, it could roll over. You know, you could get it. Get it on a little bounce. Yeah, you know, Apple, same thing. If it consolidates here and then wants to, it might push through lows of day two. Hey, close half my Roku filled at a buck sixty. So I would close a quarter of my Roku now at a buck seventy five. Actually, let's just go a buck seventy. Since we're close to two bars. Yeah. <clears throat> I tell you what, I'm going to be quick to pull the trigger here on Roku with it having, you know, it could set up as an upside continuation runner as well. Coming down right to that pivot, too. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just close my Roku. We're getting a second red bar.
Still at a buck fifty one to close Roku. I'm not convinced that I'm not convinced that ain't gonna rip higher. Honestly. All right, so one thing I've got is Microsoft still hasn't given me two green bars, so I'm going to wait for two consecutive green bars here on Microsoft. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off. I'll post my out, my fills in Microsoft in the day trades channel, but I'll wait for two consecutive greens, and uh, then I'll need to get back focused on zero DTE. See you at Power Hour. Peace.